Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, welcome and back with another video. Um, I had made a Dagrex uh, gameplay video last time and uh, somebody wanted to see a Dagrex guide. So um, we're going to go through that and see, uh, see what we do. I had made a video earlier um, about the voiceover. Definitely wasn't uh, what I wanted, what, what I expected it to be. So I decided just to do a uh, screen recording and uh, do it that way and I think it'll portray the guide a little bit better. Um, so starting off, the uh, skill requirements are going to be uh, 70 defense and 75 magic. Um, with 75 magic, you can use the uh, Trident on the Seas. Um, it does <clears throat> require it to be charged up with uh, different um, ruins. However, that's going to save you uh, an inventory or two um, uh, slots <clears throat> on ruins. And then the 70 defense is going to be for your, uh, your Guthans uh, armor, which is going to be used later. Uh, which will I'll end up showing um, to, to heal, uh, especially if it takes a while to get there and you use up a little bit of food getting into the dungeon itself. Um, that's going to be a big, uh, big one. So, yeah, 70 defense, 75 magic are the minimum requirements. Um, other than that, 60 prayer um, is beneficial for your, uh, your blessed spirit shield. However, just overhead prayers, so 43. Um, Beneficial one getting down there, but really uh, 37 or actually sorry 43 for uh, we're gonna have to Draw dag rex over to us to get to the safe spot and you are gonna have to protect from melee So I would say minimum requirement of 43 for overhead prayers um, But mystic might at 45 is beneficial as well and then your 60 prayer for the blessed spirit shield So that brings us into the uh, the gear setup. So we have full guthans uh, make sure you have your Guthans War Spear along with you as well. Um, and then a Fire Cape, uh, any cape that's going to give you a Prayer or Mage bonus. Um, so I went with the Fire Cape. Um, a Cult Necklace is very, very beneficial um, for that Mage bonus. And then Honorable Blessing for the Prayer bonus. You're definitely going to want one of those. Um, like I said before, <clears throat> Blessed Spirit Shield. Um, other than that, you could use some sort of uh, uh, book. I don't know what the Mage book is. Um, from uh, the Horror of the Deep Quest that I know it gives all those different books. Um, anything, I guess, in the shield slot that would give you either a prayer bonus or some defense um, would be beneficial. So I just went with this. Seer's Ring um, is going to give you that mage bonus. I guess you could probably do uh, Ring of Wealth for uh, the coins, coin drops, but that wouldn't be super beneficial. So definitely try to work up to something that's going to give you, again, a mage bonus. Mystic Boots. Mystic Boots are pretty cheap. Um, the blue and the, the light version are both under 20k, 10 or 20k each. Um, so those are really good. And then I'm using a Combat Bracelet because I do not have Barrel's Gloves right now. Um, so the Combat Bracelet is really just giving me a defense bonus. So I'll just run in here quick. As you can see, my defense bonus is pretty high. Um, go ahead and take this off. So it's not going to be going to give me a melee strength bonus, but no mage so which is fine um you could also use granite gloves uh however i don't i just didn't have them so yeah comet bracelet's fine uh, extra defense bonus but yeah so this is a general setup that i would recommend you use um fire cape if you have it if not uh any of the um god capes um and stuff like that occult necklace sears ring and yeah so we should be good to go we have a good prayer bonus and good defense bonuses so then we'll quick go over how to get there and then I'll go in through the inventory on our way there. Um, so easiest way is teleport to Camelot. Um, I'm at Sears Village as you can see. And then we're just going to run, whoops, run north all the way to Rileka. Through here, Rileka, then we're going to go to this far, this uh, western, western uh, uh, bridge. Or not bridge, uh, dock. So yeah, so right here, we're going to run. Like you can see, just use your map, get to Rileka. You can also use um, uh, Relic at House Teleport if you have that. So we're going to just go ahead and head out now. Um, make sure that you have a Stamina Potion. Well, that's the first thing I'll mention because a stamina, uh, you can use a Stamina Dose. Like I'll use one on my way there. But uh, two to three doses I would say is a minimum requirement um, for running through the dungeon to get to the, uh, the Dag, Dag Rex or the Dag Bosses in general. Um, <clears throat> for uh, antidote plus pluses, you're going to be using those for the, the spinners, um, which you'll see once we get down there. 
that can and most likely will poison you. So uh, Antidote++ plus plus will last for uh, about 12 minutes, which helps you kind of avoid taking uh, that poison damage and is a necessary re requirement. So I usually bring four. Um, four, if you stay the entire uh, length of those uh, all, all these doses, you probably be looking at about a four hour trip. Um, it will take you probably anywhere between five and seven hours to get um, anywhere between 100 and 150 kills. Um, that's just kind of going off of what I've gotten so far. Uh, this is this will be my fourth and final trip. I only have, I believe, 13 uh, kills left, so I decided to kind of make this this last uh, last video. Um, anyways, getting back to the inventory, uh, five prayer po five prayer potions. Again, having a little bit higher prayer isn't a bad thing because it kind of helps you avoid uh, using up those extra doses. But five prayer potions should be enough um, for anywhere between a two and four hour run. Uh, one Ceridoman Brew and one Super Restore. This is just for uh, getting down there in case something, you know, you feel like you need to panic and you don't have time to eat a shark, go ahead and just uh, heal up with a Cerebrew. And then... Sharks, sharks are going to give you really good, it's going to be plus 20, obviously here I can't right now because I have full HP, but we're going to get plus 20 from each shark, and that's definitely going to come in handy, especially if we're taking a lot of a lot of damage, uh, if we have you know some bad RNG, we're taking a lot of damage getting there. Um, high Elks, I usually bring about 200 High Elks, there's going to be a lot of high, uh, Elkable items that we're going to want, and then your Ruined Throne Axe, you're going to need that to get through the dungeon, so cannot forget that. And when we do get to that point where we need to use the Ruined Throne Axe, you will have to activate the special attack bar um, in order to get through it. If you don't have that activated, then uh, the door will not open. And then I suggest a one-click teleport. So I just have uh, two rock teleports here. And then the last thing is we're going to need a pet rock from the uh, child NPC right, right when you get into uh, Rilekka. So go ahead and grab one of those. Uh, you can get have as many as you want. So I mean, each trip you come back, just go ahead and grab another pet rock. Or if you have a friend, um, you can use them to uh, <clears throat> use the pressure pad once we get in there. So if you've done the Fremenic Trials quest, you can travel with uh, Jarvold to Waterbirth Island, as you can see here. And once we're here, we're just going to run around the island and get to the, uh, the first dungeon entrance. <clears throat> so I'll, I might just go ahead and have another stamina dose. Uh, we should be okay with uh, two upon entering the, uh, the first dungeon entrance over here. Alright, so I usually make sure before I enter that my run is at uh, 100%. So I'm just going to go ahead and wait uh, until then. <clears throat> Emily. Emily. What are you doing? Are you done? No, why are you hiding? Oh, no, it's fine. I have to wait wait the second. Okay, just just be in here. I'm going to be awkward. No, it doesn't matter. I'm going to oh, be awkward like anyways. That. It's still recording. I just have to. Are you going to edit it out? Well, I have to wait for my run to get to 100 anyways. I was, if it works, I'll find if I can do that and then put something behind it, then sure. While, while we sit in your way, I was going to speed it up, so I mean. And take, you can take the volume out. You can take the volume out, yeah, correct. Uh, didn't really plan out too much what I was going to say, so. we got to get through it without hitting escape. How long has it been? It's been about 10 minutes, so I need to try to hurry. <clears throat> But if I do speed this portion up, then it shouldn't be too bad. All right, so we should be good on our run. Um, I'm just going to have one more dose before we go in. That way I do have a full full run and stamina, stamina dose going. So we're going to go ahead and enter. 
<clears throat> make sure to just run across here, try to not take a lot of damage. As far as overheads, we could protect from melee if we wanted to. Um, not super crucial. For unlucky, we'll get hit, but for the most part, just run north uh, to the northeast. And right here, this is the first gate. This is with the pressure pad. This is where, on the bottom side, we're going to go ahead and drop our pet rock. And then come over to the other side of the pressure pad and then open door and it'll let us open. And then run through. Uh, these these rock crabs uh, can hit you for a little bit, so I mean you can go ahead and flick your uh, prey melee if you if you would like. Uh, it's, again, not super super crucial. And here's where we're going to use the ru ruined throne axe. So come up here, wield your uh, throne axe, and then like I said, make sure uh, we have the special attack on when we go to uh, hit this door support. So make sure to do the middle one as well. Otherwise it won't work and special attack is on. And then we will want to make sure that we have Prey Mage before we go down the ladder. So go ahead and destroy that. Get the animation. They go down. They come through. I'm just going to equip that again and then go down. Oh, whoops. So there, I forgot to... Yep, see? Good example. Forgot to put on my uh, Protect from Mage before I went through. And then these ones go here. So I did take a pretty big hit there at 21. And that's exactly why you want to make sure to have uh, Prey Mage before you go down that first ladder. And then when in doubt, use Prey Mage because they will hit you for 21s. Um, and you can die pretty fast that way. So skip skip this ladder, come straight across to this. Again, if you're not sure, protect from, uh, protect from Mage, which should happen to be in this one. Just keep running through as best you can. Make sure to keep your obviously your uh, HP and your um, uh, prayer high if you can, as best you can. I'm gonna go ahead and protect mage because I'm not sure. It looks like these are the rangers, so let's switch over. See, even th through my range, uh, they hit an 11, so not much you can do there. Range again. I'll switch back to mage. Go ahead and have another shark just to just to heal up as far as I can. So these are the rangers again. So yeah, we're getting hit a lot. It does help to have a partner if they just want to run through for you and take all the damage. So these are going to be melee up until about halfway. And then you're going to want to switch over to this. So I'm going to go ahead and just eat up again. And if you're really uncomfortable, you can just go ahead and have a uh, have a dose of Cerebrew and then Super Restore. So now we have full prayer. And right about now, yeah, our run is going to run out. Um, that's usually what happens, but we just got to make it to... Don't go down the ladder at first. Come uh, right over here to this rut. We're going to step over this and we're going to get away from them for a second. Hide behind the, the wall here. Where they can't attack you. Turn off your prayer. And then you can kind of regroup. This is a good spot to regroup. Let your run energy uh, kind of go up a little bit. If you need to, you know, heal up, you can do that. Rearrange your uh, inventory because right now nothing's really going on. So I have one stamina dose left, and I will use that in just a second. And then just go ahead and drop that. Um, this uh, extra rune thrown axe, uh, I just bring in case I do forget to use the special attack button at that one part, but we didn't, so we can uh, just go ahead and drop that. Um, and other than that, yeah, once once you're good to go, uh, HP wise and prayer wise, there's a nice peak option here. You see if anyone's in there. So we see uh, in the standard cave and the center cave there are people in there. So you're gonna want to hop to a free world and just keep doing this until until you find find an open world. So peak. So no adventures in both. That's good. So you can do in either cave if you want. I'm just gonna do the Slayer cave just because, um, but it doesn't really matter. And so this is going to be the hardest part um, of the guide and of getting down here. Just this next part, um, just watch. I'll try to talk through it as best I can, but also don't want to die in this part, so won't be talking a ton. So we're going to want to, you know, get our run up to about 40 or more. Um, it would be beneficial. Make sure your auto retaliate is off. You should have it off the entire time, um, but just make sure it is off now. And then get ready to protect from mage. Uh, like we did before because they 
will hit us and we got another person going in let's see if he's we're just gonna we're just gonna go for it step over root protect from mage and we're gonna go turn your camera uh, to the east and see their aggro see so we want to flip back and forth until until the bosses do not <coughs> aggro us um, if Rex aggro is aggro it's not the end of the world but we definitely don't want uh, supreme or prime to aggro us so just wait a second check it again and if you can run around this is what we got to do so none of them are aggro at the moment we're getting pretty lucky and we might make it there we go that's not that's not too bad so we get here and now we're behind this mound and we're safe as long as you hug hug the ground in the water you should be good to go so we're gonna just run through a kill right away here make sure your long range is on and if any of the other bosses are facing you or in the middle with Prime, don't try to attack him because if you run past this mound um, or even out here and he's looking at you, they will aggro you. So go ahead and long range and I usually spam click the water just to run back. Flip over, uh, protect from melee, let them you know, hit you for about one or get close and then you just run right to these rocks. And we're going to turn off, protect from melee, he's stuck. And now you can go ahead and switch back to accurate and then just AFK attack Rex. So see here we got poisoned uh, by the spinners. So go ahead and uh, take an antidote, heal up if you want to. So I have quite a bit of food. Last time I made the video the first time, I ended up using all but one of them just because going up and down did not go well. But so now we can just uh, flick, <laughs> flick Mystic Might. Um, that does speed up the kills and is beneficial. But other than that, it's pretty simple. Once you're down here, just getting to the spot is the hardest part. Um, mainly, you're not going to have to worry too much about the spinners. Uh, they're not going to hit you too bad. I've been getting pretty unlucky and get got hit for a couple sixes. Um, they do drain one prayer point every time they uh, they uh, hit you successfully. Um, but they usually don't hit too often. And then I will just show you quick um, the point of the Guthans after this... Uh, this Rex kill here. <clears throat> so we'll go ahead and finish this out and then uh, see if we get a nice drop, kind of talk about the drops, and then use the Guthans quick and wrap up the guide. So here we go. We have 3K drop. Uh, not great, not bad. It is stackable, so you will get uh, coin drops occasionally. Um, so what I like to pick up are usually the bones, and then I'll talk about that in a second, but we'll... As far as healing goes, it doesn't really matter what attack style you have, but come over and wield your Guthans War Spear. And when the spinners attack, so we're just going to wait for one to um, attack us. Here we go. And see, once we get the animation, um, there we go. Not a good hit to get the animation on. Um, I don't know what the rate is as far as, as, far as successfully healing. Um, I don't know, it happens probably about one out of five times, one out of five hits or so, um, you will end up getting the animation and then get healed. So again, a really bad hit to get healed on, which does kind of stink, but until we use up all the food, this doesn't become super, super necessary, but it is a good end game, especially if you're going to be here for, you know, a couple hours at a time, you're definitely going to need, uh, the war spear to heal up. So yeah, and then just a waiting game, uh, we have 20 seconds left for the next Rex, uh, to spawn. And then I'll try to go through one more quick, um, just so you know, not to go past. You're better safe than sorry. Don't, you know, don't try to run out there uh, because one of the prime or supreme could end up, uh, you know, aggroing you. And then you have to go back and do the whole ladder thing over again, um, so they're not aggro on you. And they will hit you pretty hard. I got hit from, uh, uh, I believe it was uh, Dag Prime for like a 46 one time, and I had to teleport out. So definitely, if you can avoid that, uh, do that. So long range is on, and we see they're both standing next to each other, so I'm going to go ahead and wait. And always keep an eye on your prayer. Make sure that's, uh, <laughs> use your full prayer dose. Don't do it early, but see, Rex is by himself. I can get him. Switch back. Put your prayer on. Let him hit you, uh, like, one time with the prayer on. Then you can, once you're safely by these stones, <laughs> go ahead and turn it off. Switch back to accurate and then just AFK. And yeah, that's about it, guys. Um, anything other than that, uh, Alkables, it's nice to have a room, room like client, which is what, is what I have. Um, so I know how much I can elk things for. 
but at Elkables, and then, you know, obviously the big drops, like the Berserker Ring, the Warriors Ring, he does drop, uh, Dragon Axe, those are all 1 in 128 uh, drop rate, so not super often, but you should, you should get one, uh, I've gotten two so far, out of my 100 and, let's see what, 142 plus 12, 154, so I had 154 task, and I've already gotten two, so I'm already above that, and we're ho I'm hoping to get one more uh, for my task is up, but we'll see. And that definitely makes it worth it. If not, um, you do make you know anywhere between 100 and 150k an hour, almost guaranteed, just from bones um, and alkables. Um, but yeah, other than that, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave, leave a comment, and I'll see you on the next one.